So I've got my new paintbrush handle fishing layer which just leaves me the problem of what to do with the brush head. Not wanting to waste anything, I've been experimenting with making my own disposable paint brushes with the bristles. These are great, they're better quality than the ones I normally buy for coating with epoxy and you may have spotted these in the last video I made. So I have a roll of 1 inch or 25 mil scotch tape side off an aluminium drinks can, five minute epoxy there and some mixing sticks. Down here obviously is my paintbrush head. I've got a pencil there which is going to form the new handle, craft knife and a standard pair of scissors. I'm going to start by making the handle of my new paintbrush. I'm going to take the pencil, lay it over the sellotape and just mark half the thickness of the sellotape. Then using that mark I'm just going to roll it round the pencil. Then I can use that mark and I'm just going to kind of sharpen the end, I don't want to point but it just go slightly deeper as I push along the strokes. And then using the knife like a scraper I'm just going to take out the flat spots. So just changing the angle there, you should see that there's a slight taper. Doesn't have to be perfect. To make the ferrule, which is the metal part that holds the bristles in place, I'm going to use my aluminium drinks cam. And what I need to do is just mark the same thickness as the salad tape. With the knife. And then taking a pair of scissors, just cut a strip to that width. I still need to trim that strip further. So I'm going to lay my pencil so the edges are parallel here. And then using a knife I'm just going to mark the top and then roll. And when that comes back to the top again, that mark, I'm going to mark the edge, the parallel edge. And that should give me the right diameter when I wrap it around the pencil. So I'm just going to trim that with the scissors again. To begin shaping the aluminium, I'm just going to curl it using the pencil. Just being careful of them edges. And then I can kind of just form it by wrapping it, rolling it around the, the shaft. putting a bit of pressure on it. So once I'm happy it's starting to curl up into a cylinder I'm going to take a piece of sellotape and just uh, wrap it on and then slide the whole lot to the end um, and I want to kind of form a, a funnel shape around the end so again just, just work it with your fingers but I don't want to form it here, I want to form it near the tip, so it's tapering. So I'll just wrap the sellotape around. What that should mean is when I push it up it gives me quite a tight fit. So I'm just going to trim that excess tape off there so it doesn't get caught in the bristles. To get the bristles in, I'm just going to take my a bunch from my paintbrush and just kind of feed it into the funnel. And then pushing it down, I'm going to trim away with the scissors as close to the base as I can. There we go. To glue all the bristles together and attach it to the 
paintbrush handle I'm going to use epoxy two part five minute epoxy so I'm just going to mix up uh, a couple of drops of each this red sheet I'm using is just a, a piece of silicon just protects the work surface that means I can clean it up when I've finished and then kind of stacking my hairs up in the brush I'm just going to kind of pinch them all together and then really work the epoxy onto the end and into the fibres at the end anything that's a bit messy or sticks out just, just pull out and get rid of better doing it now than when the brush is finished So then I'm just I'm going to pull that up inside the ferrule. You can see there, and then taking my brush, I'm going to push push it together. Pull off anything that's loose. And then leave it a few minutes to set. It says five minutes epoxy. That's working time. So give it ten minutes and come back to it. So that's had about twenty minutes to set. I've gone away and had a cup of tea. And all I'm going to do now is just trim it to probably about half its length. And just make sure all those loose bits are out. After a couple of hours for curing, I can get on then and mix my epoxy and coat some layers. Finally, after you've used your brush to coat your layer with epoxy resin, it'll obviously harden up. So to reuse it, it should just be a case of cutting away the sellotape, unwrapping the ferrule, and there you go. Just throw the hair away, you've got your ferrule, and you can start again.